Alright, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Makakudash. Double honor to the head of Apostle Nevis, great millstone of the well. Peace and blessings to you, sincere. I can never push in this truth all over the four corners of the earth, week in, week out, in all truth and sincere. This is the brother Matthew Thai from the GMS Virginia camp, coming to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, which is the true, holy, powerful name of the Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, Lord willing, this to be edifying. Uh, lesson slash information. This can be a quick little video concerning these. Uh, I believe they call them chimeras. <laughs> you know, basically uh, uh, human animal hybrids, you know, which China and the United States have been doing testing on. And they said they have been successful. And, you know, when they come out with these things, these new things that they say they're doing research and testing on, that means they've been doing it for a number of years. Okay. We know this devil is a mad scientist, okay? He's about splicing genes, putting this with that, trying to create uh, an animal slash human, okay? Just like from the, uh, the the old Frankenstein movie, man. It's alive, it's alive. Hey, that's what this devil's about, man, okay? He can never be satisfied, man, all right? So it says mutants are coming. And look on the right, <laughs> okay? Once again, you jakes are the test subjects, man. Okay? Because that's clearly a so-called Negro, man. All right? <laughs> you know, that's clearly a jake on the right, man. Okay? And you got swine on the left, man. Okay? <laughs> this place is completely through, man. Okay? And this video, which I'm going to put the link in the description box, is, it's called China Reportedly Funding Human-Animal Hybrids, which we're going to play a little clip of this. Let's jump back a little bit. Outlawing U.S. participation in research that would create human-animal hybrids, also known as chimeras, China's already doing it, announcing in April that an international team successfully grew human-monkey embryos and sustained them for 20 days in a lab. The only question is, what will they do next? Currently, the National Institutes of Health has banned U.S. funding for chimeric research, but that ban could very well be lifted, and who's to say that these agencies will play by the rules anyway? Remember, President Obama banned uh, funding for gain-of-function research back in 2014, but New York uh, AD found a way around it, uh, and uh, they laundered it's the NIAID group, and they laundered hundreds of thousands of dollars to the Wuhan Institute of Virology through a non-profit group called the Echo Health Alliance. The rest is history. Chimeric research is a Pandora's box that's obviously from hell that should not be opened. But the scientific community spurred on by their own hubris may very well open it using American taxpayer dollars. And if that happens, the Democrats will have blood on their hands for not joining the GOP and stopping it when they had a chance. <laughs> yeah, and these, you know, these, <laughs> these average people, man, these everyday people, they don't understand that <laughs> Just because something is pushed through uh, these uh, the government and these different laws and bills, they think it's not happening, man, okay? These bills and, and laws and different things are, are pushed in the eyes of the people on the forefront just to comfort them, to put them at ease, man, okay? Just because this devil says we're banning or, or, or sets the president up to say we're banning research on this type of thing and that type of thing, that doesn't mean it's not happening, man. It's still going on, man. It's just going on behind closed doors, man. These other countries are actually open about what they're doing, you know? Like China, they, they are actually doing uh, this chimera human hybrid thing and said they were successful, man. And if China's doing it, you best believe that America's doing it, man, okay? They're just doing it more so behind closed doors, man, okay? And once again, you jakes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the test subjects on this, man. <laughs> Look at the picture on the left once again, man, okay? Just like in the times old, there's nothing new under the sun, man. You were te you were test subjects back in, uh, uh, you know, hardcore slavery, all right? How do you think the so-called white man got so far, all right, in, 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 uh, in, in the pharmacy, in surgery, okay, in these hospitals, how he can uh, work and operate on a brain, how he can put a leg back on, how he can amputate, okay, how he can do this and do that, do this type of surgery and that type of surgery, because... They were testing, okay, and practicing on you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, okay? And once again, you're a test subject under this uh, pandemic slash disease, okay? 
You jakes are the test subjects, man. Okay? Hey, man. You Israelites better wake up before it's too late, man. This devil does not like you, man. Okay? He is your enemy, man. Okay? Like the scriptures say, beware of your enemy. And our people do not beware of their enemy, man. Okay? They're seeking their enemy. All right? Now, let's get the scripture real quick. I'm not going to make this video too long. Let's go to Sirach chapter 12. And Lord, when I remember to uh, leave the link in the description box to this video, and brothers can check it out for themselves. This is Sirach 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy. The majority of our people, they don't know who their enemy is, man. Okay? They don't understand there's a nation of people that are their enemy. And really, all these other nations are our enemies, man. But our arch enemy, okay? <laughs> is this devil, man? The so called white man, all right? It says, Never, uh, so like, never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rust, so is his wickedness, man. Okay, this is a wicked thing, a wicked act, okay? You know, human hybrids, a pig and a and a human put together, <laughs> you know? It says, Though he humble himself and go crouch and yet take good heed and beware of him, okay? You must be aware of this man, man. Take good heed of this man. Stay away from this man, okay? He seeks to kill you. He seeks to destroy you, man. Because these higher-ups, these elites, they know that you're the Israelites, man, okay? Regardless of what you're hearing in the news, regardless of what vibration is pushed, okay, in the society, regardless of what your pastor and preacher is telling you, man, it says, though he humble himself and go crouch, and yet take good heed and beware of him, okay? And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words, and be pricked therewith. Okay? So the scriptures are clear, man. Don't set your enemy by you, man. And the majority of our people have set... Okay, this man by them and they seek, okay, to be loved by him, okay, and they follow his, uh, his, <coughs> his doctrines, his philosophies, okay, they've been tricked and bamboozled by his devices, all right, and they bow down to this man, Lord willing knows that if I, to the next time, shallow on.